I've got three friends and we get together and we talk about deals all the time. And even we may even go somewhere. Like we may leave for a weekend and go talk about this. Well, all you're doing is taking that same bucket of information and moving it to a new city, maybe with you know better, better scenery, but it's still the same group. Got to bring in outside people with outside ideas that are challenging to yours. Not that you need to accept everybody's idea, but that challenges the way you think. Welcome to the Next Level Income Show, where it's our goal to take your income, your investments, and your life to the next level. I'm your host, Chris Larson. If you haven't yet, get a copy of our book for free at our website, nextlevelincome.com. That's www.nextlevelincome.com. Just click on the book link, and I'll even send you a copy if you put your address in. On today's show, we have Russ Morgan and Joey Murray. Joey and Russ are serial entrepreneurs. They own six different businesses from short-term rentals to a cattle company and land investing. They also currently operate 19 short-term rentals along with several other investment strategies. They love to talk about the challenges and motivations they experience as business owners and helping others pursue financial freedom. And today we're going to talk about the passive income mastermind and how you can gain the same access that I have to look at all these different investments and learn from the experts out there with a group that can teach you and you can learn from their mistakes. Joey and Russ, welcome back to the show. Man, it's been too long. It's been too long, Chris. Thanks for having us on. Chris, Absolutely. it's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for having us. I know. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about where this podcast might go. <laughs> um, based upon our last podcast, most people don't know this. So if you, if you, um, if you want to hear a little bit more of the backstory from Joey and Russ, go listen to episode 55. And we were not friends at that time, but now we have <laughs> developed a, a very wonderful friendship. And what's funny is, I don't know if I told you guys this, but there was a miscommunication because we were doing a, I was going to be on your podcast. You guys were going to be on mine. I thought I was on your podcast that day. And <laughs> as always, Joey was running late and he came, <laughs> it gave me a few minutes to, 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 and I was looking and I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I'm interviewing them. I had no notes. I had nothing. So we just, we just shot from the hip on that one. And it, we had a lot of fun and it turned out great. Um, so uh, yeah, so that was that was many many podcasts ago. Um, but for those that may not want to go back and listen to that podcast, um, I would love for you guys to share just a little bit of your background before we dive into what we're going to be talking about today, which is the passive income mastermind. Yeah, well, I'll jump in there. Usually Joey goes first, but and since since we've let him go first before, I gotta jump in there, Chris. So our, our company is Wealth Without Wall Street. We, we say that our, our objective is to help people who want to become financially free get there without investing in a K, get there without paying off their house or having to go the traditional route. And we do it in three distinct ways, which is one, helping build their own personal monetary system, helping them create passive income, and then lastly, helping them become a better investor. And it all starts back to one, being a really poor investor myself, because I was a typical financial advisor who meant I was just a sales guy in the financial field that knew nothing about investing. I was never taught about investing. All I was taught was to read charts and to listen to the mutual fund companies that came and pitched their, their product to us. And then I just be the middleman to get them on the, on that string. So I did that for a long time. Didn't realize that I was doing that at the time, thought I was really becoming uh, a financial guru. And for the first four and a half years of my career, I was. And then the, the stock market crashed in 08, as everybody knows. And I realized that, no, it was the economy that was doing well. I didn't know much about it. And I think a lot of people right now are probably facing that, Chris. They, they're they seeing that there's been a pullback over the last 12 months. And they're, they're, they're saying, well, maybe my, my financial advisor was not really my best friend in this situation. And Joey and I started a path a long time ago to try to figure out how to not only put ourselves in the best position, but then lead from the front by sharing that with the people that were listening to our podcast. Joey's a great example of someone who listened well and, and took action. And he's helped me a ton and, and pushing me to hide. So I'm going to put him on that pedestal like I normally don't do. And I'm sure I will rip I've it out from under him pretty before. soon. Yeah, yeah. But with that, I'll hand it over to my partner, the Italian stallion. Oh, man. Well, so Chris, again, write this down. This is a rare opportunity that I didn't jabbed by my partner. But man, 
what a, what an awesome journey it's been. I, I was the guy that was uh, uh, in the mortgage field. I was a highly paid commission salesperson, and I was on the hamster wheel and didn't realize it. I was the guy making lots of money, but trading my time at a higher you know, monetary number. That's all it was. And, and my life was actually getting sucked away from me by little, the more that I was um, growing in that field. And it was kind of like a, a shot in the arm whenever I read um, Nelson's book, Become Your Own Banker. That's what Russ shared with me back in 2009. And I started implementing that at a high level, as Russ mentioned, and years later decided, man, I need to go and share this with people. Like This is something that people don't know and they're stuck in bondage ultimately. Like they, they need freedom. And even at that point, I didn't understand that that was through passive income. I just knew I had stored a lot of capital in my own monetary system. And now it's time to get active on that. And that's kind of like, I'll, I'll bring it, I won't get all the details between then and now, but I think the key is, is that we've now created a passive income mastermind as a result of Russ and I's own journal, journey to create passive income and other people around us saying, wait a minute, how did you guys do that? How can I get access to the people, the resources, the deals that you guys are doing at that level, because I want more of the freedom you now have created for yourselves. So that's kind of bringing you full circle of where we came from. Absolutely, and that's that's what I love about you guys. You, you guys are you guys are humble. You're self deprecating, although Russ, usually you're more you're more deprecating when it comes to Joey. And I, <laughs> I, I kind of felt like like you know this was you know Charlie Brown. You know when when Lucy sets is it Lucy sets up the uh, football. Like I was like, is he gonna is he about to pull this away? <laughs> so I, I, I love that. But uh, now you guys, it's it's just it's you guys. We always crack up. That's why I said I was a little bit nervous about about this podcast here. Um, and again, if you guys want to hear a little bit more about the backstory, I mean, look, two guys that got to work with Nelson Nash, become your own banker. Go read that book. It's it's phenomenal. And I kind of did it the opposite way. You guys built your monetary system, and and you know, put that in there. I start with the passive income side. And, you know, so we, we've kind of all met here in the middle and look, I am proud to say I, I'm a founding member of the passive income mastermind um, that you also graciously invited me to be a part of. It's a, it's a fantastic group. And I'd love for you guys to share um, more about that, but on the journey, I'd love to talk about how you guys grew your, your passive income from, I'll let you guys share it, um, how you've grown it here over the past two years and how you've built now a structure so that other people can learn the same way to do what you guys have done. So I, I thought Russ was going to jump in here because he's he's just antsy, like he's just ready to jump. But um, you know what? Really, what happened is we've had a lot of failures. I think that that's really the key. That uh, we talk about other people's money all the time. I'm sure you share that on your show. Quite we do too. But other people's money doesn't just apply to other people's capital that you can use for deals. It also applies to learn from their mistakes. They've spent right. their money on deals and opportunities that went bad. And now you don't have to if you borrow it. And that's kind of what happened with us. We started to just invest in things that sounded cool, that had high rates of return, that we knew a little bit about. And little by little, we started to realize, wait a minute, I'm really not that excited about this investment or this operator really wasn't the right operator for us or um, you know, this particular strategy is way too long-term for what we're trying to accomplish. And I think it starts with clarity, okay? So I, I'll, I'll say this, when we, I was, I was sitting there driving my daughter to school, she was probably two years old at the time, it was a rare occasion because this was back when I was in the mortgage business. I was busier than I knew what to do with. So I never took her to school, never picked her up from school. But I, I was driving her. She said, Dad, you going to pick me up today? And I was like, no, like almost kind of like why annoyed that she was asking me that. Like, yeah. of course, you know that. No, your mom's going to pick you up. Why are you not going to pick me up? Because I have to go to work. Why you have to go to work? Well, because I have to pay the bills. I have to you know, pay for this car, pay for our house, the food that you eat. She says, 
We already have a car. We already have a house. You know, at that moment, all she cared about was time with me. Yeah. And it was the anchor for me was I told my daughter, I have to go to work. And I don't know who's listening to this, but if you are troubled by that statement as much as I was, that's when I came to Russ. I said, okay, Russ, we've been talking about these things enough. We have to build passive income because I don't ever want to have to tell my daughter that again. Yeah. And, and that really started to say, okay, if I have passive income greater than monthly expenses, my calendar is my calendar. Nobody else dictate, dictates it except me. And that really became clear to me. Well, I think too, part of this, and Chris, you know, we started podcasting in 2017 and it was only because of a younger guy that was in our office who was listening to podcasts said, Hey, I think this would be a great way to get you to in front of our audience to, to allow them to hear some of the things guys are starting to dip your toe in, All right? We were starting to find ways to invest, starting to find little things that would create some passive income and had no idea what it, where it would lead us. But I would say our journey really got accelerated. We went to a, an event where podcasters all over the world came together and we met two individuals who were sharing their passive income on their website. Now, a different type of passive income than probably what you and I and we work on, right? We're thinking real estate and businesses. They were thinking more in the affiliate marketing space. Yeah. But even that really inspired us to say, if, you know, we, we've always heard the adage, what you track grows, right? Like, or improves. So if you're, yeah. you're, well, I, measure, I know that yeah. you're, yeah, you're a big health nut, right? You, no, you, no. You're always sharing things and you're always looking for ways to, to improve your statistics. Yeah. The whoop band, the aura ring, all the metrics is the more we track that information, the better we can improve our bodies or whatever it is. Well, we knew that about passive income, but then concept was if you, what you track and then report on grows exponentially. And mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, this is an opportunity for you, Stallion to put this up. And it was a little bit kind of nerve wracking because when we first did it, I think our first report in 2020, when we did this, we put up like a little over $3,000 as our monthly passive income that was combined. That's not, and that's a lot of people listening. They're like, I would love to have $3,000. That's a great, that's a great yeah. place to start. It, it was, but you know, to me, I felt a little bit of a shame because I've been in the financial industry at that point, almost 16 years. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I thought, yeah. you know, like for someone, it would be like, um, it, it'd be like a home builder who was buying it, you know, was, was owning their first house after being a home builder for 16 years. That, I mean, that's maybe not a perfect yeah. analogy, but that's, that's good, the way no, I, that's a good, yes. Yeah, that's the kind analogy. of I felt. Yeah. So yes, I realized there's people like, man, I would take $3,000 or half that since you guys are, were putting it together, no doubt. But for me, I had been in space. I had been somewhat around this and I should have known better. I should have known, but that was not the case because it was always about accumulation. It was all about the end game and not realizing the end game is what Joey's story so eloquently put. It's about today, like the opportunities, the memories that we're missing. And so we started reporting on that in 2020. And since then, like you said, like we posted every month on our, um, on our website, I think last month we reported was a little over 46,000. And it's That's been, awesome. it's just beautiful to see that progression of reporting it and being accountable to it and then meeting amazing people like yourself who give us opportunities and create opportunities for us to get our money, other people's money at work. No. And uh, so what, okay. If people want to check out those reports, what, what's the best way to find that? I know we talked a little bit yeah. about it in the intro. Here. Yeah. You go, go to wealthwallstreet.com forward slash passive hyphen income. Um, cool. and, and if we'll you forget that notes. part, yeah, you can yeah. go to work what was your time and at the very yeah. bottom, there's a little link, but yeah, that yeah. We, we put that in there and every, every month and every year is reported on since we've, since we started it. And look, it's, it's very inspirational because I get your, I get your passive, your monthly path of passive income reports. I'm like, Oh, what's, what's going on with the guys this month? Um, you know, and, and, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are wanting to know like where it comes from. Joe, you said one thing, and I think this is really important, you know, and, you know, you mentioned failures, like we learned from our failures, but I think there's something underneath that. And you touched on that, which is 
you learn from failures. Those failures don't have to be yours. You can learn from other people's failures. And that's why I talk about why I wrote my book. It's like, don't, don't spend 15 years figuring out what it took, took me to figure 15, you know, 15 years to figure out. Just read my book. Look at what I did. I mean, you don't have to do it, but at least don't repeat the same mistakes. You know, it'd be uh, so. Um, well, the goal is to compress time. Yes. Right. It, isn't it yes. like if we want freedom today, yeah. would it make sense that we want our monetary system to be as efficient and optimized as possible? Yeah. Wouldn't it make sense that we don't want to spend money or allow it to go out the door on things that are not getting us closer to financial freedom? Like, I mean, Russ led off with this and I'm going to kind of beat on this for just a second. Then I'll, I'll give the mic back to you because, you know, I don't want to go over your show, Chris, but you know, we help people who want to be financially free without giving to their 401k, contributing to a 401k. And some people think that's silly. Like, don't I get free money? I mean, it's a hundred percent return because they match it and all this kind of stuff. If I look at a 401k on it, does it provide financial freedom today? It requires me to wait until I'm 59 and a half. And I don't know how old you are, but if you're in your 30s, your 40s, that's a long time from now. And your daughter's not sitting in the back seat when 65 asking you, can you pick me up from school? This is today. Like we need to qu quit putting money at things because we've been told it's a good thing for me eventually down the road. All that says is, you don't have the ability to create passive income today. You have to defer to some time in the future. And our answer is that's bull. No, you do not. Today is the day. Yeah, no, you do not. No, I love that. And I want to we'll dive into that a little bit. And it's, yeah, I mean, again, like I tell people I'm like, stop contributing to your 401k and people look at me and it's like, wait. And our, our first mastermind in Austin, we talked about this, which was, I'm sorry, in Nashville, um, which was really contributing to a 401k is a bet that you're going to pay less tax in the future. And I think Russ, you said it, and I'd love for you to repeat it, which is, you know, if you invest a 10% return and you pay a 20% tax, whether you put that in a tax deferred plan and earn the 10%, then pay the 20% or pay the 20% and then earn the 10%, the number is exactly the same. Exactly yeah. the same. And I think and, that and, blows people's mind. And it's like, wait a minute. I'm like, but has anyone ever stopped and questioned the underlying assumptions? And that's the big thing I always say is, you know, you need to stop being trained as an engineer is nice because you always have to list your assumptions. So then the professor can say, hey, Chris, your assumptions were wrong. I like the way you think, but your assumptions were wrong. I like the way you tried to solve it. And th here's the thing, though. If your assumptions are wrong or your method is wrong, your answer is still wrong. And I think that's the problem. A lot of people say, oh, I'm Chris, I've been putting money in my 401k since I was 22, 23 years old. I got seven figures in there. And you know what? I have one of my coaching clients. He said to me, he goes, Chris, I got all this money in my 401k and I feel like I'm broke. Like I, I, don't, I don't have any money. Like I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose my job. That is, that is so critical what you just said. And, and here's the reality. I don't want to, I'm not like a doom and gloom kind of guy, but we're on the precipice of a major economic shift. And if you are, it, that person you talked to about is literally the tie is on the Titanic with no lifeboat. That's right. Yeah, do do exactly. you want to be yeah. stuck on a one ship wonder? You're, you're, you're holding fast to this active income. It's not guaranteed. Like it's a lie to think that a W two equals security. Yeah. So you have to be about taking active income and transferring it to passive income. Yes. There is no option. Well, there's no there's no social contracts out there with the companies that we're working for, right? Like the reality is, is we're on a day to day basis, and well, the, you you love what you do, you're creating value, and they love you. One promotion to a job that you suck in, you're out the door. Like that's the, the people don't realize that we we when you mentioned Nashville made me think of that. Chris is that we had one of our speakers talk about how we're built, right? And and the yeah. way that we're built, the way that we then look at our jobs and the way we look at investments based upon that. And he's going to come back and do a thing pretty soon. Whereas in the mastermind, which I'm really excited about, but it's amazing 
how many of people have been amazing in a role within their company and get promoted and get fired within 12 months because they were not they were not the right fit the next role yeah. but they took it and they took the higher income or they went to another job took the higher income and then all of a sudden they were gone and i think matt the, I, I think matt said i was unemployable so <laughs> well, he did say you were unemployed. Sure, he absolutely <laughs> said that. Yeah, you, you definitely had all the all, all the competing traits to a, a good employee, which is great, right? Like you you you've excelled as a non-employee, and and for everyone who is employed, that doesn't mean you don't have to be, right? Like I yeah. love the fact that, that that people find their value and they find the way that they can add the most value, and sometimes it's in a support role, sometimes it's from leadership yeah. role, sometimes it's a creation role. Yeah. And to what you were saying, the 401k is not good or bad. It's just not what, if I'm looking for financial freedom, Joe defined it as financial freedom is passive income greater than monthly expenses. It can't create passive income. And so if financial freedom for me is that, then it's in direct conflict with what I want. For someone who is like our grandparents or our great grandparents who wanted to work at one job, wanted to work there for 40 years and wanted to higher at age 60 or whatever their age was and start drawing down at that point. Perfect. Great. You picked the exact tool to accomplish the objective. But if you only chose that because that's what someone else told you you should do, like going to college, for instance, right? Like a lot of people go to college. Next step, I'm a 16 year old to be, or 17 year old now, actually looking at what the next step is. There's a lot of people out there telling the next right step is to go to college. And that's true if you need a specialized degree to do the thing you want to do. But I would argue that a business degree in college today may be the worst you could spend. They could go to work with you as an intern for 12 months, go to work with Sharon as an intern for six weeks, work with any of the people in our mastermind and, and pay them, pay them the exact same amount of money that they would pay their institution. And what sort of degree would they come out with? Come to agree with business management, marketing, entrepreneurship, investing. I mean, the amazing amount of yeah. opportunities that exist that are not inside the halls of colleges for business, for instance. I, I love that you said that. And I, you know, I, I did a, um, I got a five steps to teach your kids how to how to be money pros, and the last one is teach them the true cost and and return of going to college. And there's a great article in there, and a lot of people say. Oh, hey, if you go to college, you'll earn a million dollars more over the course of your career. What they don't tell you is for the average cost of college, if you just invested in that at what the stock market would return on average over that period of time, you'd have more than a million dollars. So you would actually, and you'd have that time back. So you get the four or five years of your life back. You'd have more than the million dollars that you would have made if you had the degree as well. And people say, yeah, but you would have made more if you went to college, but they don't challenge the assumption. And well, that's the problem, right? No, so, and I know you wanted us to talk a little bit about the, the passive income mastermind. And here's yeah. where I'll make the connection for us. I'll transition this for us. I, Perfect. It, Making the, it easy for me again. I love it. Right, so the idea of college is used to be that I'm going to send my kids to be there and at the Three of us all went to college, right? I, I'm going to send you there so that way you can gr get an education and you're going to be around other people gaining an education. And so then you will then go out and earn higher incomes than those idiots that you hung out with in high school that we tried our best to keep you away from. <laughs> so we're not going to go to college mm -hmm. and we're going to be the ones serving you French fries, right? Like that was the assumption that yeah. those who didn't go to college, that's what they were going to end up yeah. like. Now we know tons of really, really successful people that never went to college and they are not in that crowd. Yeah. But yet what you do want to be around is a crowd of people who are achieving the things that you want to achieve, right? Exactly. And so when we think about the Passive Income Mastermind, that's exactly what I'm there for. I'm there because people like yourself that are trying to achieve not 100% financial freedom where passive income equals monthly expenses, but doubling that tripling that, thinking a hundred years down the road of how can I build a plan generationally that will impact those come that I will never even meet. Like yeah. that to me raises our lid, as my partner likes to say, it gives us a, 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 a threshold that's well, that's well beyond 
what our natural comfort level is. And I, I think there, when people who go to college, there, there's a level that exists there, right? So if you sent your kid to an entrepreneurship school, like being into a mastermind of other people trying to exceed a higher level, my guess they will turn, they will turn out and have greater opportunities. Now, if you send them to the crowd that's that's you know just serving French fries because they didn't want to go to college or couldn't go to college, then that will probably be the level in which they end up. Like Jim Rohn says, right? You're the average of the five people you spend the most time around. Today's show is sponsored by Money Insights and their investment optimizer strategy. In my book, I share how I use the same strategy starting over a decade ago to invest my money in two places at one time. This strategy has been used by the wealthiest for generations for estate planning, minimizing taxes, preserving wealth, and increasing stability for their investments. Now you can do the same thing. In addition, you can build a plan to build an emergency fund, pay for college, fund a business, plan for retirement, and ultimately optimize your total financial picture. To find out more information, check us out at the banking link at nextlevelincome.com. So Joey, maybe you could start to talk about kind of the tenets of the passive income mastermind. Um, I mean, we were talking about before the show, it's there's the the quality of the individuals in the group is, is awesome. It's amazing. Um, you know, aside from the fact of all, all you learn about the investments, the different financial things, the thought processes, um, it's just the people you're around and the energy that you're around as well. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, the the real benefit and value, we can talk about, I'm, I'm going to get into the tenets of how it's structured and why, yeah. but the real value, as you know, is the the connections with people. And again, you're borrowing the resources, the time, the experience, and even the mindset of investors that are potentially light years ahead of where you are today, right? That's the invaluable part. How we do this is just uh, to mention what Russ talked about earlier, is we're striving for 200% of our passive income to monthly expenses. And we do that very strategically because it's not about just amassing big numbers. It's about what it forces you at that point to become someone who gives right at a high level, whether it's to the next generation, to institutions and foundations, um, whatever that may be, time, energy, money, that extra two, that extra hundred percent can go a long way. And it's different for each one of us, which I also think is really cool. There's you, there's a unique aspect of that. We do that through three different um, kind of structures. Number one, uh, passive income. We always talk about passive income. So whether it's every two months on our calls and twice a year in our um, at in-person events, we always have a specialist come in and speak around one uh, opportunity that we can take advantage of. And then we mastermind around that subject, which that's the part that I love. And when I get off of that call and the, the speaker now leaves the room and we're able to say, Chris, okay, where does this investment land for you in your portfolio? And you're able to say, man, that's a six out of 10 for me because it doesn't do this. It has this. And the things that now you say, the why behind that for me is opportunity for me to soak up education, right? That's where I can learn from it and vice versa. The second topic we always talk about is tax strategies, right? If we can not pay money to the uh, government that we do not, not required to pay, all that does is, again, streamline how much more money we can put towards passive income. That gets us to that 200% number fast. And then lastly, infrastructure. You can build a massive portfolio and it can be built on something that just won't last and it won't take it won't take um, the future and make sure that it does what you want it to do, right? From a legacy and will perspective, um, that hundred year plan is laid out. If you don't have those types of things in place, you've built some great things that won't last longer than you. And that just really right. kind of seems. So we cover those, those three tenets. We do two monthly calls and then two uh, in-person events per year. Obviously the one, is in Scottsdale, Arizona, the end of September. 
and uh, super excited to uh, to, to see you there. Russ, you want to add any any to that? That was fantastic. That overview, Joey. Um, and again, it's uh, it, the the monthly calls have been great because you go in there. Um, you know, Russ, you mentioned it, but I think it's important to note. Like a lot of people say, "Hey, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to just cover my monthly expenses." And I got my shirt that says two hundred percent on there, and people are like, two hundred percent. Why? Why two hundred percent? It's like, well, there's things that you need to do. My son, we need to take him and put him in a in a um, a school with smaller classes, right? We didn't expect to pay private school tuition, but with two hundred percent of our expenses covered, you can afford to do that. You have an opportunity that jumps out. Why? Why two hundred percent, Russ? Well, to, to that point, right? It it does require us to think what else. It, it I think it it makes us consider other options. I mean, you know, hey, the the, the scarcity mindset. They will if I'm just half right. <laughs> if I'm just yeah. half right, I get there. Yeah. But also the abundance mindset is what is possible. What yeah. what is possible when I create that? And it's not intended for us to now you know, expand our, our lifestyle to, to accommodate that extra hundred percent of expenses. And now I get a hundred percent, it's meant to make us think what are, what is possible? How do we, you know, the beauty of this mastermind, I think is that people in there are so generous. They're, they're, they're said humble, but they're achieving such high levels. It, it creates this, um, opportunity for us to grow probably past what we might only do or wouldn't do without somebody else. And I, yeah, I mean, Joey did a great job of out the things that we're, we're trying to accomplish. I mean, at the end of the day, we're trying to become better investors and the, the concept that you've helped us a ton with, with those, those meetings is helping us understand our buy box. And it, and when we're using other people's experiences, there's thousands of transactions that have been done within the mastermind members I don't have to be an expert in all of those areas. Like I don't have to become an expert in washes, for instance. I, I can lean on your experience in that area and what you have done and what you've learned in order to help me make decisions upon that. And I think that that's the beautiful thing is that we have a group of people in there who are able to help each other. We're all gifted in different ways. We all come from very diverse backgrounds, very diverse fields of expertise in our own businesses. And we we bring that application, that own unique viewpoint. I mean, we have a combat fire fighter pilot in the group. I mean, he he really brings a different outlook on the way things are, and I think that that's very challenging to us because we don't all see the world the same way. And I think yeah. there's the benefit because sometimes you know you get in groups of people. Well, I mastermind. I've got three friends, and we get together and we talk about deals all the time. And even we may even go somewhere, like we may leave for a weekend and go talk about this. Well, all you're doing is taking that same uh, bucket of information and moving it to a new city, maybe with you know better better scenery, but it's still the same group. Got to bring in outside people with outside ideas that are challenging to yours. Not that you need to accept Absolutely. everybody's idea, but that challenges the way you think. And I, I think that that to me is one of the beauties of this mastermind. No, I think that's huge. Like we need again going back. You know, like kind of the 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 theme that we touched on a couple of times. If you're not constantly challenging your assumptions, you know, people say, "Well, Chris, you know, multifamily. Like you wrote this book five years ago. Is it the same? You know, you can you can look and say, "Hey, well, yeah, I still love multifamily." But why do we invest in car washes now? Well, there's opportunities to increase cash flow and, and different things. And if you don't have people introducing new concepts to you, and I learned a lot about Bitcoin in the group from Bob Burnett, who's been on the podcast a couple of times. And you know, it's like, wait, okay, this is a whole new concept. This is a guy that has advised countries around the world on this topic. And he's he's been in your mastermind. Um, Joey, maybe you can share. I, so- what is the process if somebody wants to learn more? If they say, "Hey, I'd I'd love to be a part of this," can can anybody join? How how have you structured? You know, I, I like I said, I, I feel fortunate. You guys invited me um, to the first mastermind that we took part in. Um, I've watched the group grow. I've gotten to um, meet a lot of great new friends and um, you know some partners as well in that group. What does the process look like? So yeah, the we we definitely want to continue to increase. The, the value of the group, which is all in the people. And so we're very yeah. choosy about that. Uh, it's an application.
selection process. Uh, the minimum criteria is you have to be an accredited investor. Um, and beyond that, you have to be teachable and humble, as you mentioned. Like Now, that's hard to, to put on an application. Um, so it really just comes in the interview process that our board then uh, approves or, or denies membership based on that. Uh, people, if you want to learn more about the whole concept, the whole process, you can go to wealthwithoutwallstreet.com forward slash club 200. And again, that's that 200% number coming back. So we, we bring it back, call it Club 200. And on there, there's an application, you fill it out. And then uh, someone from our team will set up an interview and, and we go from there. We answer each other's questions. And again, at the, end of the day, it's, is this a good fit for you? Is this a good fit for us? And will our group grow as a result of your being present? And, and that's, that's really important to us. I think that's an important point as well. Like if you're looking at any mastermind, not only should you get value, but you should also give value to that group. Yeah. Well, I, and we want to, we want to cap this at a hundred people. So that even puts more pressure on us to make sure it's the right hundred people, right? Club There's not going to be a lot 100. of, do what? <laughs> so it's club 200, but it's only 100. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We're, we're not going to 200 here. <laughs> Half the people, twice the value. You know, that's what we're looking for here. You know, <laughs> it, it is. We, we we love the opportunity, and a lot of times people want to try to attend one of the events to get a just a taste, right? Because we always say when you come to one of those events, if you like this, you'll love the mastermind because it's just this every single month. And we're we're very busy people, right? We we know that this is something that is a part of our lives, but it's our lives. So we have two meetings a month that are 90 minutes long and we, we build those in and, and structure around it, but you can come, you can gain value out of, and then you can be back to the thing that, that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're interested in just attending an event, Chris, I don't know if this is going to go live before then or not, but if it is, I would say go to. Yes. Um, yes. We'll get, so yeah, we're going to get this out real quick. Um, okay. Yeah, so give some updates on the uh, Scottsdale event when yeah. it is, and yeah, so we have um, we have an event coming up in Scottsdale. If you want more information, you can go to www.thepassiveincomeretreat.com. That's thepassiveincomeretreat.com, and you you can apply to attend there. We we will be there um, Thursday, September the 29th through Friday the thirtieth. We have a day and a half worth of of talks, more importantly, masterminding happens, right? We've all been events that was full of 10 speakers and it was nonstop. And by, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon, everybody's outside because they sit through one more talk, their, their brain's fried and they're trying to build relationships. Well, we intentionally wanted to build relationships throughout the day. So we have three speakers during the day and between those speakers is and I, I would love to get your feedback on this, but we build in mastermind time. So we'll take an hour, break up into small group, switch you up each time where you can go around and talk about what's working, what, what are things that you're investing in, what are areas that you need help with. And you have basically a little small board of directors of people that you never met there to help you along that process. And then we, we have great food throughout the time and amazing speakers. That. Yeah. I mean, here's Full two of the speakers. Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Bull riding. Yeah, we've had that. <laughs> I think we got some UTV uh, riding this time, but the speakers that we have attending this time, names that you probably already know, especially if you're in the real estate space, Ken McElroy, probably one of the uh, greatest real estate investors in the US, if not the world, Pace Morby. Uh, we, we call him the, the king of creative finance. I think he's done over 700 deals in, in the real estate space where he hasn't written a check or gotten a mortgage for it. I think it's fascinating if we're, especially if we're going into potentially hard times, as you said, Joey, many people are going to need to get rid of properties. Well, how, how we acquire those properties is going to be super interesting, right? The more creative we can be, have those people there was really important for us. And then more importantly, it goes back to not only is it the front of the room that we learn from, it goes into those people that are in the room. I and mean, we have people that are truly nine and 10 figure people in the room. And nobody walks around kind of peacocking and, and, and puffing their chest out, but you get to be in a, a small group with three or four people. And all of a sudden you're like, wait a second, this person has exited five companies and the last one, $3 billion. 
I may want to listen to what this individual <laughs> shared with me right now. <laughs> this could be helpful in my life. And I think that's the value. So interested in that, go to the passive income retreat.com. And we'd love to uh, have you uh, join us, the three of us out in Scottsdale, Arizona, at one of the nice sports that we've even chosen for this, um, for this retreat. By the way, Chris, what, what was your feedback from the mastermind times built in to the event? Oh, it's some of the best time. I, my only complaint with that was it wasn't longer because like you get into these groups and, you know, you start having these conversations and we'd have little assignments, right? Like, oh, go through this and that. And next thing you know, they'd be like, hey, we got five minutes. And you, be, you look around and you say, we just we just got to know each other. So and that again, um, that goes back to like like you mentioned, Russ, it's not just who you're listening to in the front of the group. Right. So it's like being in college. You sit up there and you're like, hey, this the professor's talking. I'm learning a lot. But what are you doing? What connections are you making you know, in the classroom, so to speak? And I mean, that's that's to me, it was so much value sitting in the back of the room, having a coffee, um, you know, going, you know, grabbing a workout, um, you know, before the day started, you know, or juice midday. Right, Russ? <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, getting to know some people. So I wish we had more time, gentlemen, but we will definitely have you back on. Um, a couple closing remarks here before we sign off. And by the way, all the all the things you mentioned, the passive income um, report, Club 200, the passive income retreat, we're going to have all those links in the show notes. Awesome. Awesome, man. Thanks for having us on. And again, thanks for being a founding member. This, it really makes the biggest difference to have guys like in the group. Yeah, I, I'm so, so grateful to have met you and you inspire me um, in so many ways. I love the fact that you that shoot me text messages of the, the new things you're getting into from a health perspective. I love watching you and your family go do things because that's what it's about, right? Financial freedom should be seen. It should be something that you're experiencing. And that, I think that that's beautiful to, to see you living what you talk about on the podcast. Um, really grateful to know you. Grateful to be on the show. Likewise. Likewise, the feeling is mutual, gentlemen, and uh, I'm excited to see you guys here soon. Hey, Chris here again. I hope you found this episode valuable. Now, I have one more thing to give to you. We have a page for my coaching clients where you can get a free copy of my book, as well as much more from previous guests on the show. Just check out nextlevelincome.com slash coaching to get a free copy of my book, audiobook, and much more. I'll send you a copy of my book and cover all the shipping costs as a thank you for listening to the podcast. Also, please like, share, and take just 90 seconds to give us a rating on Apple Podcasts.